is neurofeedback anyway? I get asked that question several times a week. I am Dr. Randy Kale. I'm a licensed psychologist in New York and Florida. And having a neurofeedback practice, I get lots of inquiries because parents, individuals, they're reading about the effectiveness of neurofeedback and blown away by some of what they're reading. Because neurofeedback is a technology that actually changes very gradually and incrementally the way the brain works. There's no forcing, there's no coercion, so they're interested. What is neurofeedback? So I explain it in this way. Neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback. Now, often that's not helpful, right? Well, what is biofeedback? Biofeedback happens when we take a signal that the, that the body, in, in the case of neurofeedback, the brain, is emitting that is below the level of conscious awareness, right? We, we, we don't perceive it. We read that signal and then we use amplifiers to make it significant enough that we can read that. And with biofeedback and neurofeedback, when we're wanting that signal to go down, for example, in the case of brain waves, we might want them to, if we have a high theta, uh, in the case of anxiety or ADD, and we want that to come down, we then read that brain wave, and when it, by its own natural course, drops just the teeniest amount in the course of daily functioning, right? We read it, we reward the person who's doing neurofeedback. So they get a tone or they get an increase in brightness. There are various ways we can reward the brain for that. And over time, the brain puts together these reward signals and understands that that's the direction we want to go in. Now the brain will not move against itself. It will only move in ways that feel better. That's why we don't have side effects with neurofeedback and why when there, there is significant change, that tends to be sustained and that brain actually gets better and better over time. So let's go back to what is neurofeedback. It's a form of biofeedback. There's nothing put into the brain. There's no coercion. There's no signals. There's no electrical impulse. There's no risk then. Very, very little risk. People get tired. Sometimes they get headaches. But that's the side.